Hey everybody, this is Lucky. This is April 27th, 2023. I'm going to give an update on him. It's been almost two weeks since he got his last radiation treatment. Monday, I think it is, he's supposed to go and get uh, his checkup for the radiation oncology. So I want to do a little video, let you know how he's doing. Yeah, look at him. Well, he had some ups and downs the first week. There were some days he was just really achy and low energy. Um, he's just not himself. The other days he perked up. His appetite's been decent. There was a few times last week he just wasn't that hungry, but I ended up getting to get a, take his medicine and everything. Um, so that is good. Um, I had to do a couple tricks to the tray. Let me see if I can put this down. Let me see if I can do this. There. There you go. I'll try to do a few tricks, but pretty much he's been okay with the eating. His appetite's actually better. Um, no, chips. No. Anyways, sorry, I got a little distracted. But we're in the second week. Stop. Since we're in the se second week, since he, uh, since we're in the second. Stop it. A little bit of interruption by Chubbs. Chubbs? No. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. With the second week, he's doing even better. He still has trouble with walking. Now, some of that could still be when he hurt his back after the um, CAT scan. But the doctor also thinks he's had some trouble with vertigo, too. Because the radiation has affected his ear, where he's had a bit of a discharge and infection. A lot of gunk in there. So his eardrops, we have to do like an ear cleaner on him. He's taking antibiotic. That is getting better. He used to be shaking his head a lot. He's not shaking nearly as much as he was. So that is better. Um, but he's still having some issues with walking sometimes. Some days are better than others where he seems to list to the side and it seems to give out from underneath him. So he's probably still some from, from vertigo and some still from the arthritis from when he tweaked it from after the CAT scan. But that's definitely better than it was. Like I said, some days it's better than others, but he's doing his normal lucky things. You know, he's starting to bark when we go out because he doesn't want us to leave him. He's starting to play a little bit with the dogs. He's not quite running around or anything yet, but he is moving around faster. Um, he's eating pretty good now. Uh, taking his medicine pretty easily. Um, yeah. But he's still, like I said, not his high energy self, like he was up to a couple months ago. But he's getting there. But I do know he just still, there's some issues. I guess they said there are some issues with his throat too, that he might be a little bit sore. I haven't noticed that. But, you know, with them being dogs, they can't tell you if their sore, throat was sore. So I'm assuming they probably looked in there and they saw it. Um, another thing, they mentioned it where they put the radiation. They might have a bit of uh, where... He has hair loss. It might look like he has a bad sun, um, like sunburn. He has gotten that to a point. He's had it where that like um, uh, maybe a half dollar uh, size area where it was red looking, inflamed a bit, no hair, kind of wet. Um, he knows he's been itching a little bit. So if he starts itching, we got to put the corn on his head. We did that for one day when we went out, which was itchy more. He hasn't itched it too much, so luckily. It doesn't seem to bother him too much, but we have the cone of shame to put on him if we have to. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's doing good. He's not 100%. I don't know if he'll ever will be. I hope so. But so far, he seems to be tolerating um, the post-radiation um, treatment. And um, like I said, we got to see the radiation oncologist, May the 1st. Then after that, we'll eventually see the main oncologist. I'm hoping they say he's doing okay. He doesn't need any further treatment for now. There's a possibility that he might want to do um, chemo too now. So, but we'll see. Uh, basically, the only way we know if this is a success or not is just um, they have to get um, checkups to see if it comes back or not. If it doesn't come back, it's a success. If it does come back, well, then we're going to have to be looking into other things. But hopefully, this gave him another two to four years. Huh, big man? Yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty happy how he's doing. It could be better, but it could be far, far worse. So, so far he's doing okay. 
And I really appreciate everyone's kind word and support. I know he does. And you can tell that's his excited face. Yeah, he keeps looking up at me. I tell you, he, he, there's some other way, reason why I know he's getting back to his old self because he's doing these things that, you know, you find it be a pain in the butt, but I'm happy he's doing it. Because, like, he wakes me up at a certain time every morning to let me know he has to go potty, that he has to go tinkle. You know, it's hours before I would normally get up. Follow me around the house and everything like he used to, so, yeah. Of course, another reason why he has to go to the bathroom a little bit more than normal because of the medication he takes, I said that would happen. But, yeah, he wakes me up, and he won't let me alone until I get up and take him out. Even though I took him out only a certain um, few hours before, and it has to be about the same time. He's a grandpa dog now. That's how grandpa dogs do. Isn't that right, boy? Yeah. So adorable. I'll just let you bask in the in his cuteness for a second. Yeah. Yeah, Lucky. But this is Lucky's world. We're just living in it, huh, boy? But he's doing good. I might even be able to Let's see. See how it looks. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard and crusty there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's not nearly as inflamed looking as it was. It looks like it's dried up and it's healing. But that's what they said. I remember a couple weeks ago feeling it. I gotta clean his ear again. He's due for that. They've been wanting that done about every couple, uh, couple times a week. But that seems to be getting better. He's not shaking his head nearly as much as he was. But he's doing good, you know. And it's been tough because he went to, what, three surgeries. By, uh, one, uh, two of them last year. One to get his toe removed because cancer. And that GDV with a bloat in his stomach. And then this year, um, he had uh, the tumor removed. And then, of course, he had to get knocked out from the CAT scan. And then he had to get knocked out 16 times for the radiation. So he had uh, anesthesia a whole boatload of times. Now, granted, some of them aren't as deep as the others, but still, it was anesthesia, and that was the main concern. But he seemed to have got through it pretty well. I had another older dog who had his teeth done, and he had to get anesthesia. And while he went and got through it, he was never the same after that. He had issues, and I think it was just too hard on him. I was worried about it being like that with Lucky, because him being older, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, if the cancer stays away and if his walking keeps improving, um, we'll be in pretty good shape. We may have to do some like acupuncture in the future. We've got to see. Thing is, with the problems with the walking, I'm not sure if it's from. Let me see some. Yep. Okay. We're not sure if it's fully from still the arthritis or the vertical. I think it's a combination of both. Because I know when the ear got better, that got better. So that's what I think. But yeah, he's doing good. Um, I'm a lot less nervous about the situation than I was up to a couple weeks ago. And thank you, everyone, for your support. All right, I'm going to let you all go. I just wanted to give this long rambling, I guess you could say, um, on how lucky he's doing, a re uh, report. I will do another video when I take him May 1st for his um, next step, which is see the radiation college again. I'll let you know what she says and how she's thinking. I think she's going to be happy with how he's going. And after that, we're supposed to see his main oncologist. I'm not sure exactly when after that, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, any comments, questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, yeah, so far, Lucky's doing good. Yay, Lucky. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, Lucky. Lucky.